Hi guys! In this video I'll be discussing Mendel and his peas, hereditary units, Mendel's conclusions and finally a summary. In this video we'll be talking about one of the most important scientists in biology. This scientist was called Gregor Mendel and he was a monk living in Austria. Mendel was trained in maths and natural science and his observations were essential to the founding of modern genetics. But what did Mendel discover? Well, he discovered how characteristics are passed on through generations. This is called the law of inheritance. This allows characteristics in your parents to be passed down to you. Mendel made this discovery by observing plants. In particular, he crossed pea plants. So let's look at one of the crosses he did. Well, he crossed a yellow pea plant and a green pea plant. So when he crossed these, he found that all of the offspring were green pea plants. He then did a second cross. He crossed two of the offspring from the first cross, shown here, together. So once he crossed these two, he found that three of them were green, but one of the pea plants was yellow. So how does this happen? How does this yellow pea plant appear from the green ones? Well, I'll be going through this a bit later on in the video. First, let's talk about heredity units. So Mendel's experiments with plants, such as pea plants, led him to the discovery that characteristics can be inherited separately. These are called discrete characteristics. This pea plant can be round and yellow, and these characteristics can be inherited separately. He also found that when he crossed green and yellow pea plants, the offspring produced are in a mixture of the colours, they're either green or yellow. So Mendel called these characteristics hereditary units. This is because he didn't know what led to their expression. He basically didn't know what caused them to be either round, yellow, green, etc. However, now we know that hereditary units are actually genes and we can explain Mendel's results using genetic diagrams. So for instance, we can use the capital letter G to represent the allele that causes the green colour. We can use the lowercase letter G to represent the allele that causes the yellow colour in pea plants. In this case, allele big G is dominant and allele small g is recessive. This means that this P would have to have the genotype little g, little g. Mendel's first cross where he crossed a green and a yellow pea plant to get all green pea plants can be represented by this Punnett square. The gametes of one of the pea plants would be big G, big G, and that would be the gametes of the green pea plant. In the female yellow pea plant, the gametes would be little g, little g. So now we fill in our Punnett square. So this gamete goes in this box, and this little g goes in this box. Now we can fill in the rest of the table. This gives the result that all the offspring are green, but they all carry the allele little g that causes a yellow colour. This means they all have this phenotype of being round and all have the genotype big G little g. Allele big G is dominant as the plants which are heterozygous with alleles big G little g are green. Mendel's second cross using two green pea offspring from the cross above can be represented by this Punnett square. So the offspring above have the genotype big G little g. This means that the gametes will also be big G little g. The other plant cross has the genotype big G little g. This gives the gametes big G little g. Now we can fill in the table. Once we fill in the table, we get this, and we can see there's a 3 to 1 ratio of green to yellow pea plants. This is because all of these pea plants have a big G allele. This means that they're green. Only one of them doesn't have a big G allele. This means it's yellow. We talked about how Mendel used plants, such as pea plants, to understand inheritance. So Mendel's experiments led him to conclude, for one, that characteristics in plants are determined by hereditary units. For example, this plant is yellow because it inherited this characteristic from its parent. And these hereditary units can be passed on unchanged from both parents to the offspring, one unit from each parent. So the parent pea plant could be yellow. It's passed on the unit that causes the yellow color to its offspring. This offspring is also yellow. Mendel also discovered 
that these hereditary units can be dominant or recessive. If the unit is dominant, it will always be expressed. In this example, a parent could pass down a dominant unit, and as it's inherited by the offspring, this offspring will be green. This is because the unit that causes the green colour is dominant. Mendel was a really important scientist, and his work led to huge advances in the field of genetics. Other discoveries, such as the discovery of genes and DNA by other important scientists, also led to advances in genetics. So let's look at a timeline of some of these advances. So Mendel first published his research in the year 1866. He later died in the year 1884. Unfortunately, the significance of Mendel's work wasn't realised after his death. However, his discoveries were still used to make advances in genetics. In the late 19th century, the behaviour of chromosomes during cell division was observed. In the early 20th century, scientists realised that chromosomes and Mendel's units behaved in similar ways. This led to the idea that units, or genes, were located on chromosomes. In the mid-20th century, scientists discovered the structure of DNA. Advances in the field of genetics is still occurring. For instance, with information on genes that we know now, we can even cure genetic diseases. We can also use our knowledge on genetics to look at human history. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing GCC biology and combined science resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap revised smiley face and together let's make biology at GCSE a walk in the park.